guys, it's Rick. Welcome to the HD Vibe channel. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks, rides, reviews, installs on my Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycles, as well as information about motorcycles and the motorcycle community large large, please hit that subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, please leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and select all so you do get notified every time I do put out new content. So today, guys, we're continuing with the series on Project Rogue Life. And today we're going to be installing this color matched interfering air duct cover by Hogworks. And we'll get into it right after this. So that's right guys, we're gonna be um, installing the color matched uh, vent cover that comes up on these Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycles. Stock starting in 2021, they're kind of a matte black which doesn't match uh, on this, the specials, this vivid black interfering, um, it obviously doesn't match the color of the bike. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to install this color matched version. Um, pretty simple and shouldn't take you much time at all. So this is what we're gonna be replacing, guys. This air duct uh, cover that is underneath your windshield. So obviously I've already taken the windshield out. Again, it's just four screws with your Phillips screwdriver. Pop those out, take your windscreen off. Um, but as you can see, it's sort of a matte black. Starting in 2021, they went to matte black. Um, this is all vivid black, the interfering. Obviously, this is billiard red, so it doesn't match either one of those. So um, Hogworks has a solution uh, for you. If you wanna do color match or you wanna do vivid black, um, you can order that from Hogworks. Um, and again, Hogworks paints all these things in the US, which I really like. So pretty simple um, installation, again, we took the four screws out, removed the windshield, and then this is just gonna pop off. And there you have it, this is all. Gonna be reusing this gasket that goes around the front. And then we also have to pop off this mechanism which operates that, that vent um, that's inside of here with this little mechanism here. So to get this actuator off of here, um, there's 3M tape here, 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 and here from the factory. So I'm just gonna use a hair dryer and heat that up. And then as you can see, I've already got this side. Um, then that pops off. So right now I'm working on this side and it might help if you have one of these little pry tools. Um, you know, this is, you can buy these pretty cheaply on Amazon. So let me heat these up and then I'm gonna pop this side off. So just be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to break this actuator. Um, otherwise, you're going to be going to the Harley uh, dealer and ordering a new one. But just kind of carefully and gently pry this off. And there you are. We got the actuator off. So I'll go ahead and clean this up. Get this uh, the rest of this 3M tape off here. And I actually have purchased some 3M tape. Um, which you can actually get that on Amazon. About $10 for a big roll of it, so we'll get this cleaned up. And then uh, you can see that's the inside of that vent. That's the matte black color. Okay, you can see there um, that 3M tape was still warm uh, from the hairdryer, so I just kind of rubbed it off with my thumb. And as you can see, on each side there's one, two, three locations, one, two, three on this side, where that 3M tape is gonna go. Um, and I'm gonna grab a, the roll I have, clean this up with a little bit of alcohol, make sure this is clean so that the 3M tape sticks. Maybe clean this uh, actuator down a little bit, um, and then we'll be ready to actually put that onto the color matched um, air vent. Okay, so I've got my roll of 3M tape here. Um, as you can see, it's about the same width as what the original was, so we're just gonna cut some strips of this and put these strips on here in the same locations that the original strips were. These actually are about the same high. I think these are inch and a half wide uh, tape. So I'll just go ahead and get those ready. Okay, and as you can see, I've got all the 3M double-sided tape on here. It should take a, a little bit for that to stick. I think they say give it about 24 hours for its full adhesion. I've got all the 3M tape backings off. You can see now it's a little bit shiny. So now we just need to get it lined up uh, in here. 
Get it lined up with these little clips. lined up so just, just give it a good push kind of working it around so you get good adhesion with that 3m tape because essentially those little these little pins are just kind of aligning it not necessarily holding it in place it's really a 3m tape that's going to hold that in place for you for the long term okay guys so then after you've gotten the actuator installed and this um this gasket installed, again, it's just popping it back in. Um, the one thing, make sure you leave room for your actuator button so it actually operates uh, well. There's some wiring in there, so make sure that doesn't get in the way. But as you can see, um, this billiard red to the stock billiard red um, from a color match perspective is, is right on. So the only thing I have left to do really is to go ahead and reinstall the windscreen, uh, which is my Memphis Shades that I have on here um, and then this will be ready. So I think this really sets off and, and continues that billiard red nicely through here. Um, I have the vivid black through here which goes with the inner fairing nicely. Um, so I like that contrast of the billiard red and the vivid black. That's really why I bought this bike, the paint scheme to me is incredible. So that's it guys, pretty simple install. Now I've got a nice custom clean look in terms of that vent cover being billiard red colored match hogworks can match just about any color you have even from just a vivid black if you want to go vivid black or go to your color that's uh, the main color of the bike so tools needed phillips screwdriver to get off your windscreen a little pry tool to pop that actuator off and a little hair dryer to get that 3m tape heated up so that you can uh, easily pop that actuator off and then reinstall it on the Hogworks color matched and cover. So you guys like this type of content, please give this a thumbs up. Also share this with your friends so that like-minded individuals can see this content. Um, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. It's free. It doesn't cost any. Another simple install project Rogue Glide is coming along. We got more to come with Hogworks products to go on here. We've got boxes and boxes of stuff. Some of it's already here. Some of it's on the way. And I'm going to wrap it up here. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.